intentions regarding my ladies and me, my lord. The Spanish first mate told me you were of the nobility. Is this true? <laughs> yes, I am. I must ask your name. Is that absolutely necessary? It is indeed, my lady. By all the Norwegian narwhals, of course it is. Missy, you'll have to cough up your credentials if you want your freedom. <laughs> oh, yes. For a moment, I had forgotten that I am your prisoner. You are mistaken, my lady. You are not my prisoner, but prisoner of the ship and its crew. Yep. If your fate were mine alone to decide, milady, I would accompany you myself to the nearest port. But loyalty prevents me from countervening the laws of the Brotherhood of the Coast. Quad erat demonstrandum. <laughs> I see. Yes, I understand perfectly. Your name, milady, if you please. Margarete Honoré van de Graaf, Countess of Schatzel and Duchess of Flanders. A Duchess? Well, well. Uh, lads, there are doubloons in sight. Uh. If you want to live to see another sunset, shut your beak and get out of my sight. Mm, aye, aye, Skipper. At your order, sir. And now, Duchess, I must ask you and your ladies to retire to your quarters. We must give a fitting burial to the men who died bravely in combat. But this evening, I hope you will do me the great honor of dining with me aboard my ship. With pleasure, my lord. Storm clouds are brewing on the horizon, laddies. Oh boy, oh boy. Over the side. We'll have to leave at least half the crew aboard this ship, Captain. Ten will be enough, Mr. Morgan. I intend to tow it. Mr. Morgan, double the watch after dark, if you please. I don't want any surprises tonight. Sir. Parley view. You see, it paralyzed the poor Parley view. 
And our captain ups and he says, says he, that shall Go to the Spanish ship and She's bring the prisoner to me. Strike, but we can take her if we like. You heard the captain, get moving. <sighs> Lady. It was very good of you to come on such short notice. My sincerest thanks to you for your kind invitation, my lord. For the next hour or so, may we forget that I am your prisoner. I brought Lady Myrtle with me. I hope you don't mind. Of course not, my lady. It would have been perfectly in order had you brought your entire retinue. Lady Myrtle, please sit down. <laughs> my lady, I hope you can find it in your heart to forgive my unmannerly silence throughout supper this evening. But when the sky darkens over with the fall of night, a somber sadness invades my soul. And my thoughts plunge into the abysses off the coasts of the foggy lands washed by the North Sea, and my heart is dragged down with them. You? The most valorous of pirates? Vanquisher of the greatest vessels of the world's most powerful navies? Leader of devotedly loyal men? You have moments of sadness? When I was in Veracruz staying with Count Almaviva, I heard tales of you that made my blood run cold in horror. They told me that once, during a storm in the Antilles. You went out to sea in spite of the waves and wind, because you're protected by evil spirits, and because the green pirate and the red pirate were in a trap, set by... Please go on with what you were saying, milady. There's no reason for you to stop. It was tactless of me, I'm sorry. It isn't because you're frightened of me, I hope. Is it true what they say, that you can evoke the dead, my lord? I was thinking of two dead men, two men whose souls are crying out to me for vengeance. I hear them every day. You mean your brothers, don't you? Is it your family? 
Yes, my lady. You are most kind. The night is growing old, Duchess. You'll be taken back to your ship. Moko! The night is not quite as old as you think, my lord. The sea is calm, and I am in no danger. You'd like to stay a bit, then? If it would please you. Is it true, my lord, that you took an oath of vengeance against a certain man? What could one mere man have done to inspire such hatred in your breast? That mere man is a beast who destroyed my entire family, my lady, and I have indeed sworn an oath. Even if I should have to circumnavigate the globe a thousand times, he and all those who have the misfortune of bearing his wretched name must not be allowed to live. Will you tell me that name, my lord? I cannot reveal the name to someone who is not a member of the Brotherhood of the Coast. It would be too dangerous. And now... It has truly grown late, my lady. Thank you for your company. I'll have you taken back to your ship. Mogo. Yes, sir. All shipshape in Bristol fashion, Skipper. Carmo and Van Stiller will take the Duchess back. Good night to you, Duchess. I beg your pardon, Mr. Morgan. I'm very sorry. So you were looking at the sun too, eh, Captain? Is there any particular reason I should be looking at the sun, Mr. Morgan? I'm afraid so, sir. Uh, uh, you're right as usual, Mr. Morgan. All the signs are there. We'll have a hurricane upon us before long. I'm afraid we have no choice but to abandon the Spanish ship. If I might offer a suggestion, sir. Of course, Mr. Morgan. If you put half our crew on board the Caronia, Captain, in my opinion, that'll be enough. We can save her. Maybe so. We'll transfer the Duchess and her retinue aboard our ship. They'll be safer here. Hmm. In that case, we should do it right away, sir, before the waves get too high. Mr. Morgan, do you believe women bring bad luck? I don't understand, Captain. I... Duchess of Flanders, Morgan. <laughs> I can tell you one thing. I think she's a sight for sore eyes, Captain. She frightens me, Mr. Morgan. The same gypsy lady who foretold the death of my brothers told me that I would die far from my home. At sea and at the hands of my beloved. Carrying too much sail, Mr. Morgan. Fill the top gallons! Send a boat for the Duchess! May I ask why you sent for me, my lord? 
Is there some urgent communication? In a way, Valeni, there's a storm brewing and it's going to be a violent one. We have to cut the hawser that tows the Coruña and then abandon it. The only place you'll be safe is aboard my ship. That's why I had you brought over. It was kind of you, my lord. There could be fatal consequences. Fatal? Why? It's all in the hands of destiny. Grant me the honor of accepting my hospitality, my lady. Now please go below. I must brave fate and the elements. It's bearing down on us from the east. Spawned in the water is off Hispaniola. Say a prayer, men. It's going to be a bad one. Batten down the hatches. I'd seek safe harbor in Jamaica, sir. My ship and I will never flee like spineless cowards. The Spanish ship can run and seek refuge, or at least give the appearance of doing so. Yes. Whom did you leave in command of the Coruña, Mr. Morgan? Van Horn, sir. He's strong, sea crafty, and not afraid of anything. Master Van Horn, cut the hawser and head for Jamaica! Aye, aye, Skipper, see you in Tortuga! Six degrees due east, helmsman! I'll take the helm, Carlos. Aye, sir. Overboard. I don't want you dead, milady. I'm delighted to hear it. Like that one. I can't concentrate on the helm.
Take the helm, please, Mr. Morgan. Aye, aye, sir. Milady, I congratulate you. You have my wholehearted respect and admiration. Oh. I never thought the day would come when I would see a woman defy death as you did to watch my ship battle the storm. Even if you never allow me on deck again, I will remember this night to my dying day. I witnessed the Black Pirate as he sailed his ship through the worst hurricane that ever hit the Antilles. It was an honor for me to be allowed to admire you, my lord. My heart is crying out to me that you are the woman foretold to me by the gypsy lady in her prophecy. What prophecy, my lord? 